Today we will talk about SAC allowance. Now what is SAG allowance? It is the amount of cargo or displacement of the vessel which reduces due to SAG. In case vessel have a SAG, your amount of cargo loadable or the displacement of the vessel reduces compared to a vessel which has no sag and this is in metric terms so if you have a vessel with no sag let's say with a summer displacement of or let's say summer draft of 10 meters so your midship draft is 10 forward and aft is also 10 meters and you have a similar vessel with a sag, let's say 2 cm sag, uh, forward draft 9.98, aft 9.98 and midship 10. So there are two ways to calculate sag allowance, summer draft 10 meters. So the first method is, it is the difference or let's say the displacement of vessel without sag minus displacement of vessel with the sag. So in this case, displacement of vessel without sag will be the summer displacement of the vessel minus displacement of vessel with the sag. So in this case, you have to calculate the displacement of vessel and which will be slightly less than summer displacement. So if summer, so that will come here. So SAG allowance will be equal to summer displacement, let's say 1000 metric tons minus displacement of vessel in this condition, which could be let's say 950 metric tons. So SAG allowance will be summer displacement minus Displacement of vessel with the sag 950, so the answer will be 50 metric tons. So you will be loading less cargo by 50 metric tons. Another way to calculate sag allowance is by formula. Sag allowance is equal to amount of sag in centimeters divided by or multiply by TPC. This will be in metric terms. So in this case, SAG is 2 centimeters. So SAG allowance will be equal to 2 divided by 4. Let's say TPC of the vessel is 100 met uh, centimeters, 100 uh, metric tons. So a SAG allowance will be 2 divided by 4 into 100, which will come to about 50 metric tons. So your cargo loadable will be reduced by 50 metric tons in case you have a sack.